Friends, welcome to the tutorial series on network analysis made simple. This is a module wise network analysis paper solution series. In this tutorial, we are going to solve VTU CBCS scheme network analysis paper of December 2017 January 2018 module 4. Friends, I prefer to emphasize on basic concepts, strategy and thinking process rather than detailed mathematical steps. I am sure you are already well equipped with the required mathematical skills. Hope this tutorial will ignite some of your thoughts. Let's go ahead. Friends, first we shall answer question 1. The question goes like this. What is resonance? Derive expressions for half power cutoff frequencies. First, let me explain about what is a resonance. Friends, we know that resonance is associated with energy in physical systems. In most general terms, resonance is a representation of energy exchange from one form to another at a particular rate. For example, bridges and buildings resonate when excited by external forces. Circuits resonate when electrostatic energy stored in capacitance and electromagnetic energy stored in inductance is exchanged. Friends, every physical system or object has its own natural frequency. The concept of resonance and the natural frequency is applied to a huge range of natural and human-made systems. Friends, the two ideas, a natural frequency and resonance phenomenon, are the key to understand tides of ocean, the way our ear separates sound, and even how a microwave oven works, and many more. These are only few examples, friends. When a coil and a capacitance are connected in either series or in parallel across an alternating supply of varying frequency, resonance phenomenon is observed. Hence, a resonance can be defined as a specific condition of an electric circuit when maximum energy is released or energy is exchanged. Hope you understood it. Friends, next let us derive the expression for half power cutoff frequencies. Consider a series RLC circuit shown in figure. We know that current at resonance I0 is equal to V divided by R amperes. But friends, we also know that current at both half power frequencies F1 and F2 is I0 by root 2 and Current at any frequency i is equal to v divided by z and z is equal to r plus j xl minus xc. Here we assume that xl is greater than xc. Hence i is equal to v divided by r plus j into bracket xl minus xc. Also current at half our frequency i is equal to i naught by root 2. By substituting for I0 equal to V by R, we get I is equal to V divided by root 2 R. By equating the right hand sides of the equation for current I, we get V divided by root 2 R is equal to V divided by R plus J into bracket XL minus XC. So, we get root 2 R is equal to R plus J into bracket XL minus XC and that is equal to square root of R squared plus XL minus XC whole square. This equation is true if XL minus XC is equal to R, but we know that at F2 XL is greater than XC as seen from the frequency response curve. So at F2 R omega 2, xl is equal to omega 2l and x is equal to 1 upon omega 2c. Friends, by substituting these values, we get omega 2l minus 1 upon omega 2c is equal to r. By rearranging, 
we get the quadratic equation omega 2 square lc minus omega 2 cr minus 1 is equal to 0. By obtaining the roots, assuming omega 2 always is positive, we get omega 2 is equal to r by 2l plus square root of r by 2l whole square plus 1 divided by lc. Note only positive sign is taken before the square root as omega 2 is always positive. Similarly, at f1, xc is greater than xl and xl is equal to omega 1l and xc is equal to 1 upon omega 1c. By substituting and solving the quadratic equation obtained, we get omega 1 is equal to minus r by 2l plus square root of r by 2l whole square plus 1 divided by lc. This is simple, you know. Friends, next we shall answer question 2. In this question, we have to just define Q factor, selectivity and bandwidth. We know that Q factor is an important property of a coil in resonance circuits. It is defined as a ratio of the reactance of the coil to its resistance. Hence, Q is equal to XL divided by R and that is equal to omega naught L divided by R. It is denoted by Q and Q also is known as a figure of merit. Next, we shall define selectivity. Friends, selectivity of a resonance circuit depends on how sharp the output is contained within limited band of frequencies. The circuit is said to be highly selective if the resonance curve drops very sharply. Friends, Next, we shall define bandwidth. The bandwidth is defined as the frequency range between half power frequencies that is bandwidth is equal to F2 minus F1. Friends, next we shall solve numerical problem on RLC circuit. In this question, we are required to calculate the resonant frequency Q factor half power frequencies and bandwidth. All the required data is given in the problem statement. We know that F0 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into 1 divided by root LC. By substituting, L is equal to 1 million entries and C is equal to 10 microfarads and solving, we get F0 is equal to 1.591 kilohertz. Next, we know Q is equal to omega naught L divided by R. By substituting omega naught equal to 2 pi into 1.591 into 10 to the power of 3 and L is equal to 1 milli entries, R is equal to 4 ohm, we get Q is equal to 2.5. Next, we know bandwidth is equal to F naught by Q. By substituting F0 is equal to 1.591 into 10 to the power of 3 and Q is equal to 2.5 and solving, we get bandwidth is equal to 636.4 hertz. Next, we know F2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into bracket r by 2l plus square root of r by 2l whole square plus 1 divided by lc. By substituting r is equal to 4 ohm, l is equal to 1 milli henry and c is equal to 10 microfarads and solving, we get f2 is equal to 1.909 kilohertz. But we know bandwidth is equal to f2 minus f1 or f1 is equal to f2 minus bandwidth. By substituting f2 is equal to 1.909 kilohertz and bandwidth is equal to 0.6364 kilohertz and solving, we get f1 is equal to 1.2726 kilohertz. It is simple and straightforward. Friends, next we shall solve the fourth question. In this question, we are required to obtain an expression for the resonant frequency of a parallel resonant circuit. 
consider a parallel circuit consisting of R and L in one branch and C in the other branch as shown in figure. Let Z1 is equal to R plus J XL. So Y1 is equal to 1 divided by R plus J XL. By rationalizing and solving, we get Y1 is equal to R minus J XL divided by R square plus XL square. Similarly, let Z2 is equal to minus J XC. So, Y2 is equal to 1 divided by minus J XC and that is equal to J divided by XC. Now, the total admittance of the circuit Y is equal to Y1 plus Y2. By substituting for Y1 and Y2 and separating the real and imaginary part, we get Y is equal to R divided by R square plus XL square plus J into bracket 1 divided by XC minus XL divided by R square plus XL square. We know that at resonance frequency, the imaginary part of the total admittance will be zero. Hence, by equating imaginary part to zero and solving, we get 1 divided by XC is equal to XL divided by R square plus XL square. But at resonance, XC is equal to 1 divided by omega naught C and XL is equal to omega naught L. By substituting and solving, we get R square plus omega naught square L square is equal to L divided by C or omega naught square L square is equal to L divided by C minus R square. By solving for omega naught, we get omega naught is equal to square root of 1 divided by LC minus R square divided by L square or F naught is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into square root of 1 divided by LC minus R square divided by L square. Hope you understood it. Friends, next we shall answer fifth question. In this question, we are required to show that a two-branch parallel resonant circuit is resonant at all frequencies if RL is equal to RC is equal to square root of L divided by C, where RL is the resistance in the inductor branch and RC is the resistance in the capacitor branch as shown in figure. Let Z1 is equal to RL plus JXL and Y1 is equal to 1 divided by RL plus JXL. By rationalizing and separating real and imaginary part, we get Y1 is equal to RL divided by RL square plus XL square minus J into bracket XL divided by RL square plus XL square. Similarly, Z2 is equal to RC minus JXC and Y2 is equal to 1 divided by RC minus JXC. By rationalizing and separating the real and imaginary part, we get Y2 is equal to RC divided by RC square plus XC square plus J into bracket XC divided by RC square plus XC square. Friends, we know that Y is equal to Y1 plus Y2. By substituting for Y1 and Y2 and separating real and imaginary part, we get Y is equal to RL divided by RL square plus XL square plus RC divided by RC square plus XC square plus J into bracket XC divided by RC square plus XC square minus XL divided by RL square plus XL square. But XC is equal to 1 divided by omega C and XL is equal to omega L. By substituting, we get the imaginary part of Y is equal to 1 divided by omega C and that divided by RC square plus 1 divided by omega square C square minus omega L divided by RL square plus omega square L square. By solving and rearranging it, we get imaginary part of Y is equal to omega C divided by omega square RC square C square plus 1 minus omega L divided by RL square plus omega square L square. Now, if RL is equal to RC is equal to square root of L by C, 
then the rl square is equal to rc square is equal to l divided by c by substituting for rl square and rc square and solving we find that the imaginary part of y becomes zero what does this mean it means that the impedance of the circuit under this condition turns out to be purely resistive then the circuit performance will be frequency independent therefore the two branch parallel resonance circuit will be resonant at all frequencies hope it is clear to you friends next we shall solve sixth question in this question we are required to find the value of rl for which the circuit shown in figure will be resonant the strategy will be find the total admittance of the circuit and equate the imaginary part to zero observe the given network let z1 is equal to 10 minus j5 then y1 is equal to 1 divided by 10 minus j5 by rationalizing we get y1 is equal to 10 divided by 125 plus j5 divided by 125 and let z2 is equal to rl plus j10 so y2 is equal to 1 divided by rl plus j10 by rationalizing and solving we get y2 is equal to rl divided by rl square plus 100 minus j into bracket 10 divided by rl square plus 100 but we know y is equal to y1 plus y2 by substituting for y1 and y2 and separating the real part and imaginary part and equating the imaginary part to zero we get rl square plus 100 is equal to 250 by simplifying it we get rl is equal to 12.247 ohm it is so easy you know friends for strengthening your basic concepts and developing thinking process i suggest you go through my textbooks titled network analysis basic electrical engineering basic electronics and linear integrated circuits and applications which are available online thank you for watching this video